Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Gutter Fighting Secrets. So, Robert, <laughs> you have emailed me so many times back and forth about um, doing an EDC pocket dump. And I told you the first couple of times, honestly, man, like, I don't like doing this. I don't really, I, I would never really, like, do this because kind of personal information. And even though I have social media for the business and everything, I'm kind of a personal guy. So, there's a fine line for me between like putting myself out there and then just putting myself out there. But you've been persistent, man, and I do admire that persistence. So I'm gonna do this. I'll probably only do it this one time. I know I've never done it before, but um, I don't know if guys still do this or not. I know for a while, the tactical experts were doing like ADC pocket dumps where they would dump everything they had in their pocket and talk about it. This isn't going to be that interesting. I keep it deliberately, stupidly simple. I don't carry a lot of tactical shit on me. I don't believe in doing that. I think that the more knowledge you have in your head, the less stuff you have to have on your person. That's my opinion. So anyway, man, like, let's get into it. <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope this, I don't know, I hope this sheds some light on what I like to carry and what I don't. So first thing is the, the t-shirt. I always wear something nondescript, right? I like to blend in. Let's just have it at this point. So I'll wear a plain t-shirt, white, black, gray, something like that. Um, yeah, I've got tattoos and I'm super good looking, but I figure with just a plain t-shirt, I can blend a lot better than, um, you know, than if I had some like stupid political shirt on or like some bright flashy thing. Like every now and again, maybe if I'm going out to a club, I'll, uh, I'll wear something a little more flashy, although typically not. So that's, you know, that's my first thing here, right? Is my first, I don't know, lesson, right, is um, wear nondescript stuff. And then I've just got a pair of jeans and, a, you know, some shoes on, right? Um, I've got a wristwatch on, obviously. It's, uh, you know, it's a kind of a nicer one. I like watches. And uh, I got this in Israel, actually, in 2015, tax-free. So I always will carry a wristwatch. Uh, very handy. And if you guys have ever served in the military or been in the civil service at all, you'll know that wristwatches are just super essential. So even if you got your phone on you and that tells you the time, like having a wristwatch, it's even better. It really is. What do I got in my right pocket? I got uh, an automatic knife and uh, it's a Benchmade. I'll leave it at that. I always carry an automatic knife. Uh, you know, that is if, um, well, <laughs> even whatever. I always carry an automatic knife because the way I look at it is um, trying to take this out and fumble with the you know, the thumb flip and everything, fuck that. Like, if I'm actually bringing out this knife and I'm intent on using it, I need it to come out, like, quick and do its job. I don't want to mess with any, like, fine motor skills, and I feel like that is kind of a fine motor skill. So that's what I do with the automatic knives. And it's badass, and I feel like I'm getting testosterone just by pushing the button. So I carry a credit card because some my wallet, as you'll see, is huge. So sometimes I just carry the credit card. Um, speaking of my huge dad wallet, here it is. It's... Uh, it's fucking huge. It's RFID proof. I got it years ago and I've just like filled it up. I am sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Jen actually is always telling me, get rid of that big wallet. It's so stupid, but I love it. So here it is. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the contents of it, but I do keep a couple of like uh, bobby pins inside it just so I can MacGyver shit if I like really needed to. I have my badge in here from the fire department. Comes in handy every now and again. Obviously, I've got my license, my CCW. Uh, some cash and some cards and then you know some business cards of some associates that i could call if i got into trouble and i'll leave that at that um let's see what else speaking of the ccw uh here i go i carry the appendix carry these days um carry a glock it's a single stack glock and uh, uh i'll leave it at that so but i really like the appendix carry these days it's uh it's super comfortable for the most part and the holster that I use is just some bullshit like nylon holster. It's probably cost me like, I don't know, less than less than 15 bucks on Amazon, I think. So <laughs> I don't really go too overboard with the holsters, right? Like I, I told you guys, stupidly simple. Um, left pocket, I got a small flashlight. It's a Streamlight MicroStream. I love this flashlight, okay? It's nice and bright. Not so bright that it's necessarily gonna like blind you so I can then ninja chop you. But if it was, you know, if I am in a dark bar or something like that where I would have to actually bring it out and try to use it for a distraction, 
it would do its job, right? Or, you know, later at, uh, later at night in the streets, these are super bright, even though they're super small. I love these things. So quick, uh, quick shout out to Streamlight. Can of dip, obviously I'm a fiend for this shit, so I always carry one on me. Um, spare mag, now if you've noticed, I don't use a mag holder. Um, I, they're uncomfortable. So I don't wanna use the outboard one and keep it here because I don't want anyone to see, right? Conceal carry, right? So, and I just, I don't, different people feel different ways about it. And I go out a lot, so I don't, you know, around a, a lot of different types of people. So I don't wanna make anyone, um, uncomfortable right so i always just carry I straight up i carry this thing in my left pocket um if i were to do like an in one inside the waistband uh mag pouch it's uncomfortable it makes me look bigger it just like digs into me i don't like it so i keep it in the fucking pocket but i do i do always carry a spare mag especially with the single stack uh keep some cash and a pen okay and i mentioned i think i mentioned earlier about Always having a wristwatch and a pen, those are like two things like you probably should always have on you. Not to mention the fact that like, well, this one's got the little uh, rubber tip on the back, right? So I can do things on Instagram and on my write on my phone and stuff. And then if I need to turn around, I can write with it or stab someone in the fucking eye. So I always carry um, a pen and then that's really it. I'm trying to think, anything else? No, a pair of sunglasses usually during the day and then like a big thing of liquid. Usually it's water, right now it's cactus juice. So it's, uh, it's fucking hot where I am. It's like 110, 115 during the day, um, like um, 90 to 100 degrees at night. So I always am carrying hydration, to, something to hydrate myself with. In the car, I'll keep a small med kit and uh, like an overshirt and a hat, okay? And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Like I carry also, a gallon of water, at least, uh, usually two, and then uh, a couple of protein bars, and my phone, obviously. So, which I'm filming this on right now. I think that's it. Told you guys, deliberately, stupidly simple. Not much to talk about there. Not too interesting. But uh, Rob, there it is, bro. There is your EDC pocket dump. I just got in. I was out with some friends, so everything that I have pulled out of my pockets has literally been what I have, you know, had on me tonight and generally have on me. Oh, and a, and a belt, right? Just a regular black belt. Ha-cha! So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Listen, we're going to be pushing out some more videos here to come. It's a bit, I've been incredibly busy. And uh, so I'm not trying to make this channel just about commercials for the website. But gutterfightingsecrets.com you can get all of our hand-to-hand -hand combat training survival supplies and more we're also putting out a really sweet uh program right now which is going to be available soon on um hostile environment surveillance detection and that's going to be super sweet because as you guys know i did that professionally for a little while so that's going to be super dope um appreciate you watching guys please remember until next time that you were your first and last line of defense and i'll see you in the next video